If you're a fan of this channel, you probably love painting flowers and leaves. So in this video, I'm sharing five easy holiday projects that are meant to showcase those very skills. Hello my friends, welcome! Happy Holidays! My name is Shada and on this channel we make art and it's fun, not scary. I'm inviting you into my apartment today. It has been cold and snowy and wet here and so lately I've been really into making videos that invite you in and hopefully make you feel like you're sitting at my table with me with a cup of tea and a lit candle and we're just crafting together and having a cozy afternoon. If you're a fan of this channel, then you probably love to paint and draw flowers and leaves. I don't care if you're good at it, I just care that you love doing it like I do. We've been painting those flowers and leaves for about four or five years now, so in this video I've come up with five holiday crafts that are centered around exactly that. We're going to use our floral drawing skills to make things that you can gift, things that you can enjoy in your own home this season. And let's just grab that cup of tea and get started and you'll see exactly what I mean. Our first project is a personalized ornament that will beautifully showcase your floral painting. So I found these wooden letters at the dollar store. I've got a Sully and a Nils in my life. We'll use acrylic craft paint for this one, a bit of ribbon or twine, and I just got these paints at the dollar store. So all you're going to do is use a light color to paint the entire letter. And I did go a little bit extra and painted, you know, the sides and then I flipped them over when they dried and I painted the back. Once they are dry, take a darker color. I'm using this really pretty sand color for the base and then I used like a nice dark evergreen for my leaves and all we're gonna do is paint a whole bunch of leaves. Some small, some smaller. <laughs> I think as long as you keep them really tiny the project just looks really thoughtful and sophisticated and honestly these took me about 10 minutes to complete. 10 minutes each. And I am using a number one round brush and when my watercolor brushes are no longer so great I put them aside and I use them for my crafts such as this one. Otherwise just grab dollar store round brushes when you're getting the paints. Okay, then we need to be able to hang these on the tree. Now you could just use hot glue and glue some twine on the back. I'm gonna cut some little pieces of copper wire and I'm actually gonna use a hand drill, um, but like I said, not necessary. Okay, I just had to make sure the S was actually facing the right way, even though I knew it was. It is, and we're going to drill a little hole in the very top here. You could just use hot glue and twine, but if you're going to add ribbon and you do have access to a drill, it's nice to just drill a little hole um, at the middle point of the letter and then I think the easiest way to add ribbon is to just do a little coil of wire through the hole and then we put the ribbon through the wire right so I used a long piece of wire I put it through just twisted it a whole bunch you can twist it way more than you need then trim it back I think that's the easiest way to do it all we have to do next is put the ribbon through the wire and I think we have a really pretty Christmas ornament and very much so elevated from the dollar store pack of wooden letters that cost a buck or two. I think just about anyone would love a personalized ornament, but especially if you have young kids in your life, this is going to be such a sweet way to top off a gift. My S looks great hanging on our tree and my N is getting packaged up for our little cousin, my new nephew, Nils. Our next project is a great gift for a friend or coworker, and your florals are gonna look lovely. So what you need is a paint pen, like a white Posca paint pen and a jar. 
And all we're gonna do is, you guessed it, draw a whole bunch of leaves all over this jar. And this makes perfect packaging for something like cookies or if you make candies at the holidays. I think this would look so pretty. I make caramels every year and it's quite an art form making caramels, just so you know. <laughs> just kidding, but it did take me a while. It took me a while to learn. And my caramels would look so pretty in a jar like this and it really elevates the gift of homemade baking or I don't know this could probably also be for something other than baking comment below what could you use a pretty jar for but uh, once the jar is covered in leaves all you have to do is add like a nice gift tag I make these gift tags out of um, air dry clay and I just spatter paint them I have a reel on my Instagram if you would like to see it we'll put a little bit of paper string through there use a sharpie to write um, your pretty little label you can see the air dry clay is like a little bit tricky to write on but it looks so cute and then we're just going to string that around the jar tie a pretty little bow and this is perfect packaging for cookies candies or whatever other little gift you may have and all you need is a paint pen and a dollar store jar mine is packaged up with shortbread cookies ready to gift to someone special Next up, we have another ornament. I made these last year and now it's become a bit of a yearly tradition. You'll need clear ornaments. I'm using ones this year that are real glass. I ordered them on Amazon, but you can use plastic. And then you'll need craft paints. I'm using my same acrylics from the dollar store. To begin, just take the top off the ornament and we are going to paint them. Now there's two ways to paint them. First, I just painted the outside completely. I think using glass, actual glass, really elevates this project, although the plastic ones are totally fine as well. Um, and then the other way that you can start this is to actually fill the ornament with paint. And both ways I think is really nice. You could also do this project with paper mache ornaments, or I think sometimes you can find wood ones. So just about anything. Basically you just want some sort of ornament so that you can showcase your beautiful florals. There is my painted glass, all nice and dry, and then my filled ornament also uh, dried overnight, and they're both ready for the floral treatment. So here I'm using my same little round brush. I have um, some black and blue acrylic that I've mixed to make like just a really dark, rich navy blue. And you guessed it, we are just painting a whole bunch of tiny little leaves and I'll also add some flowers to this one. A lot of times I'm approaching it just like I do with our watercolor projects where I'm just painting one petal at a time or one leaf at a time. And this project, you can do all kinds of fun stuff. I do have a whole video just about these types of painted ornaments. I released it last year. It's in my holiday playlist on my main channel homepage. So if you want a little more info on this project, go watch that video. But otherwise, here are my finished ornaments hanging on the tree, looking so pretty. And obviously these make very special gifts that I know your family and friends are gonna love to receive. Okay, next we've got a five minute craft. That's just something cute for you to enjoy in your home. All you need is a dollar store candle and a gold paint pen or any color of paint pen really. And you guessed it, we're going to use our paint pen. This is the Sakura Pen Touch in gold. And we're just going to adorn this rather simple and somewhat boring candle with lots of flowers and leaves. And I'm kind of going a little bit Christmassy on this one. I'm doing some berries and some pine pine sprigs and otherwise just some different shapes of leaves and simple flowers. And this is just one of those crafts that's so easy, but the payoff is so great. You can put a few of these on your holiday table or on your mantle and they, I do love simple white candles, but this is gonna look so nice. And it would also make a simple gift for someone that you 
maybe don't want to spend a ton of money on, but you want to show them you care, like for a coworker or something, this is just a nice thing that you could do that takes like 10 minutes, not even, and it looks so pretty. So this is a great way to showcase those floral drawings that we've been practicing all year and you can just enjoy it all season long. All right, finally, your floral paintings are the perfect subject for gift wrap, but not just any gift wrap. We're talking reusable gift packaging. I ordered these gorgeous linen bags on Amazon. I got a pack of five. They have a nice drawstring, making them perfect for gift packaging. And then you need some fabric paint. I'm using white, and I suspect you could even just do this with acrylics and just don't wash them. Like how often are you gonna wash a gift bag? <laughs> um, all you need to do is lay it flat with a bit of card or paper inside to protect uh, the opposite side of the bag. Use that same round paintbrush. Again, I'm using my old watercolor brushes, so I'm familiar with them. And we are simply going to paint some leaves. It's that easy and straightforward. In fact, I find because you're creating a pattern, you want to think about the pattern itself. And I believe it looks a little more sophisticated if you leave that extra negative space, which basically just means painting less. My pattern is made up of uh, two different leaves, one thin and long, one a little more round and lots and lots of negative space in between. The nice thing is if you're using the fabric paint, all you have to do is set it with an iron. So apply heat for five minutes and then you can wash these year after year and keep them nice and clean, I guess. <laughs> There's mine all done. It's gonna be the perfect thing for wrapping up gifts for my family and then I'll just ask for the bags back. <laughs> and I'll probably create some with an even simpler pattern, like just a white polka dot I think would be really Really nice and that would be super quick to create. There's mine looking pretty with a gift tag, a little sprig of evergreen, and it's all ready to make someone feel special on Christmas morning.